how to connect Xbox One controller to Call of Duty Mobile. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to connect an Xbox controller to Call of Duty. All right, so be sure to watch this video all the way through so that you don't miss out on any important points and uh you should be good to go i'm gonna go step by step on what you should do but before i do that i want to let you guys know that i give away free xbox live gold codes here on my youtube channel i also give away free roblox gift cards free playstation plus cards free v bucks you name it um if you want to be a part of that be sure to hit that subscribe button turn on your notification bell and don't miss out on any of the giveaways that i have going on all right now let's get right into this man you want to connect your xbox one controller to call of duty um it's very simple just follow the steps first thing you want to do guys is um make sure that your xbox one controller got some good batteries in it because you know, you want to make sure that it got good batteries so that when you put it in pair mode for the Bluetooth and everything, that it actually has enough juice to pick up on your iPhone. So anyway, guys, what you need is an iPhone 11 Pro or any type of um, device that supports controller, uh, you know, controller compatibility. So the phone that I have here is an iPhone 11 Pro. You can do this with the iPhone 11 Pro Max or any other Apple um product that supports this here i think you can do it on android as well but i'm not sure i never tried it on android so but step number one guys this is what you're going to do the first thing you want to do to connect call of duty to your xbox controller is um go over to your settings which is right here it's the same as connecting it to a playstation 4 controller uh, once you go into settings, you want to open up Bluetooth right there. All right. So once you click on Bluetooth, you will notice that it will have um, all of the devices that you can connect to. But yours probably will be off. So the first thing I recommend you do is turn on Bluetooth. You want to hit that button right there and it will turn on Bluetooth. And once Bluetooth is on, as you can see down here, it says other devices, it will be searching for devices. All right, so what you wanna do is, let me put the phone down somewhere. Let's see if I can set it right here so that you guys can see it. Zoom in on that. All right, so what you want to do, guys, is you want to have your Xbox controller. You want to hit the uh, middle button on your Xbox One controller, and it will be blinking like that. And what you want to do next is hit this top button, the top button on your Xbox One controller, which is the pairing button, the sharing button. And your, and your Xbox controller should start blinking just like this. All right, now... What this means, when your controller start blinking like this, this means that it's in pairing mode. And what it's doing is it's searching for a device to pair with. So if you go into your iPhone, you will see that the device popped up down here on the bottom. Hold on, let me unlock the screen. The device popped up here down on the bottom, which is Xbox Wireless Controller. It should say Xbox Wireless Controller. You want to click on that. And once you click that, it should say here, Xbox Wireless Controller Connected. All right, you wanna make sure that it says Connected. Once it is connected, that means you are now able to um, play games off of your iPhone using your Xbox controller. Now, what you're gonna do next, guys, is go out of this. You wanna go into the Call of Duty app, which is right here. Hold on, where is it? The Call of Duty app. You want to click on it. And once you get inside of the app, let me close it first. I want to make sure that you guys get this. Hold on one second. I'm going to close it so that you guys understand this. All right. All right, so the app will open up. It'll be just like this. 
All right, so do everything I'm doing in this video and you should be good to go. So as you guys can see, the um, Call of Duty app is just now loading. I'm gonna go to guest. Give it time to load. All right, so once your screen, once Call of Duty is loaded on your iPhone, you're simply going to go into the settings and the settings is this little gear icon at the top right of the screen. You're going to click on that and it will open up your settings. Now you want to click on controller, which is over here on the right side of the top, right? And as you can see, it shows that the Xbox controller has been connected. So just to make sure that everything is set up, you can go here to settings right here. It's just a settings, you click on settings. And as you can see right here, it says connect controller. Then it says connected. And that means that the Xbox controller is now connected to your iPhone and you are able to play Call of Duty. Now, you can uh, mess with the settings if you like. Like you can turn some of this stuff on, see Y axis flip. You can turn it on if you want to. You can have it on flipped or you can have it on default. Depending on how you like to play the game, these are the settings. Just go through here and configure it however you want. You can also uh, mess with the sensibility. I mean the sensitivity by going right here. And mess with those settings if you want to. Horizontal. Oh, dang, I don't know why I pushed that. Uh, I'm putting it on mid. I don't know why I went in there, but... Yeah, you can mess with these settings to get it however you like to play, guys. So do that as well. Um, but you you should be good to go. So now I'm just going to go back and I'm going to click a game that I want to play. I'm going to try out this new zombie gameplay. So I'm just going to hit start. And now let's test out the controller. Let's see if it actually works. If this video helped you guys at all, be sure to give it a thumbs up. I will highly appreciate that. Now, let's see. As you can see, when I go up, he goes up. When I go back, he goes back. I turn right, I turn left. It's working pretty good, guys. Pretty good so far. Aim. Let me aim. Yep. I'm going to get this gun off the wall here. Hit X. Yep. It's just like playing on the Xbox One console, guys. Same thing. All the settings are the same. It looked like I got the settings to where it shoot automatically. I think you could change that, though, to where you can shoot by yourself. But if you got it set up like I do, then it shoots automatically. But, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely playing Call of Duty on my... Using, I'm playing Call of Duty using my Xbox One controller. I'm just going to kill a couple zombies just to make sure everything's working correct. Let me see. Let me turn off the light. It seems to be working pretty good so far, guys. Now, um... If you guys are looking to like get a new Xbox uh, controller or anything like that, I will have links in the description, so be sure to check that out. Also, um, you just might want to check the description for any links I have. I may have, you know, I may have different uh, stuff in the description, so be sure to check that out. As you can see. Everything is working good. And also be sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bells. And uh, give this video a thumbs up. I would highly appreciate that. As you can see, the zombies, everything is working just, just right. No lag in the controller. I have no problem with joystick drifts or anything like that 
seems to be working pretty good. Oh, got a big machine gun. Hold on. So it's playing pretty good. I feel like I'm playing on the Xbox One console, guys. That's what it feels like. So, yeah. Definitely, I recommend you guys play this. All right, so that's the video right there, guys. I'm going to leave that at that. So, like I said, man, if you're interested in getting free Xbox Live Gold Codes or free Roblox gift cards and stuff, go ahead and subscribe. Turn on that notification bell. Um, how I do my giveaways here on this channel is I basically get on YouTube Live. I turn the cards around and I scratch them off here on YouTube Live. And whoever um, redeems the code is the person that gets to keep the um i mean if you redeem the code before everyone else does then you're the person that got the actual um gift card so that's how this worked for those who was wondering how i do my giveaways um yeah again give this a thumbs up subscribe i hope this video was very helpful um again to connect it to your iphone you just hit this button here to turn on your controller you hit the top button to pair it you go into your phone you go into settings. Let me show y'all this one more time before I leave. So y'all get it. So you go into settings. Let me go over here. Once you go into settings, you make sure that you turn Bluetooth on. Once you turn on Bluetooth, you will have your device. You just pair it. It will say Xbox wireless controller. You just click on it and connect it. And once it connects, you just go into the Call of Duty app and you are good to go, guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Be sure to check the links in the description because I will have the link in there on how to connect the PlayStation 4 controller to your iPhone as well. It's basically the same concept, but I went on ahead, I went ahead and made two separate videos just so you guys won't get confused. So for if you got a PlayStation and you want to do it, it's the same thing, but check that video out. The link is in the description. And uh, yeah.